cool stuff you just saw, huh? That's Kling AI at its finest. Today, I'm breaking down everything you need to know, from crafting killer prompts to bringing still images to life and combining elements for mind-blowing results. Stick around till the end for my special hack that'll give you tons of credits, something I discovered that nobody's talking about. First things first, let's log into Kling. If you don't have an account yet, I've dropped a link in the description where you can sign up. Once you're in, you'll see the dashboard with several options. For this tutorial, we're focusing on the video generator, the core feature that makes Kling so special. There are two main approaches to creating videos with Kling. Text to video, where you describe what you want, and image to video, where you animate an existing image. Both are powerful in their own way, and I'll show you how to master each. We start with text to video since it's the easiest entry point. But here's where most people go wrong. They write something super vague like beach sunset and then wonder why their video looks, well, AI-ish. The secret to getting amazing results is what I call the five-part cinematic prompt structure. This is honestly a game changer, so pay attention. Your prompt should begin with detailed characteristics of your main subject, describing who or what is in the scene with specific traits. Next, clearly articulate what your subject is doing in the scene, making sure to use dynamic verbs that convey motion and purpose. The third element must establish the complete surroundings where your action takes place, painting a rich backdrop with details about the setting. For the fourth component, specify the mood and visual tone through your description of lighting conditions and atmospheric elements. Finally, direct exactly how the viewer will experience your scene by defining specific camera behaviors to create cinematic movement rather than a static view. I must show you what I mean with a real example. Instead of typing, man climbing the cliff, boring, I go with something like, a muscular man wearing a black tank top climbs a steep rocky cliff face. His fingers grip the jagged surface, pulling himself upward with focused strength. The cliffside is rugged, with sparse vegetation and sharp rocks jutting from the earth. The bright midday sun casts harsh shadows and highlights the texture of the rocks, photorealistic. The camera follows him in a tight shot. See the magic? The level of detail directly translates to the quality of your video. Here's another example for a completely different scene. If you wanted a futuristic cityscape, your prompt might be a gleaming futuristic metropolis with towering glass skyscrapers and flying vehicles zooming between buildings. The city is bustling with activity as holographic advertisements illuminate the streets below. Neon lights reflect off wet pavement after a recent rainfall. The camera starts high above the city and gradually descends, moving through the layers of flying traffic to reveal the street level. Level. This gives you something way more immersive than just typing futuristic city. Kling needs specific guidance to create exactly what you're envisioning. Now I will introduce Kling AI's trump card, the image to video feature. This is where Kling demolishes the competition and delivers results that'll make your jaw hit the floor. Just click on the frames tab and upload your image. For our demo, I'm using this photo of a captivating woman in a red dress. Once your image is uploaded, you need to write a prompt describing how you want it animated. The same five-part structure applies, but you can focus more on movement and camera work since the subject and environment are already defined. Here's a prompt I'll use. A woman in the red dress turns her head slightly, her seductive gaze directed toward the camera. The fabric of the woman's dress moves with a subtle motion, accentuating her beautiful figure. The ambient light gently flickers, resembling the warm glow of candlelight adding to the intimate atmosphere. The camera slowly zooms in, focusing on her gaze. This tells Kling exactly what elements should move and how the camera should behave. The result? A naturally animated scene that brings your still image to life. It must show you one more image to video example, this time with a coffee cup on a table next to a window. A coffee cup sits on a wooden windowsill with soft light coming through the window. Outside, people walk by on the busy street, some rushing, others strolling. The camera slowly moves in a subtle arc around the cup, maintaining focus on the coffee cup while the background gradually blurs. This creates a cozy atmospheric scene from a simple still image by adding multiple layers of movement and subtle camera motion. Perfect for those aesthetic social media videos that get tons of engagement. So you got your video, right? Let's move on to the Elements feature, where we take your videos to the next level. This allows you to combine different images into a single scene. For example, you can place a character from one image into an environment from another, which opens up endless creative possibilities. To use this, go to the Elements tab, upload your character image and your background image, then write a prompt describing how they should interact. Let me 
me demonstrate with an example. I'll combine this Black Widow image with this basement background. The woman in a black bodysuit is talking to an unseen person in a dimly lit basement. She crosses her arms as she speaks, her expression doubtful and concerned. The basement environment remains static while she moves naturally. The camera slowly zooms in on her as she delivers her message, capturing the tension in her posture and expression. Kling seamlessly blends these elements together, creating a professional video without needing to film anything. This is incredibly useful for creating business presentations, educational content, or any scenario where you need to place subjects in specific environments. Let's try another elements example. I'll combine an image of a giant robot with a dystopian city background. The towering, heavily armored robot is walking amidst the ruins of the dystopian city, scanning the desolate landscape. Its head turns sharply, following unseen threats, while its arms swing with purpose. Light rainfall falls from the dark clouds above, the droplets hitting the robot's cold, metallic surface and bouncing off the debris-laden ground. The camera follows the robot, capturing its intimidating movements. And just like that, we've created an awesome scene combining two separate images into one cohesive video that looks completely natural. Next up is the lip sync feature, which lets you add voices to your characters, a total game changer for creating talking head videos. After generating your video, click on the lip sync button below it. You can either type what you want the character to say and choose from various AI voices or upload your own audio file. While Kling has its own voice options, I personally prefer using Eleven Labs for my voiceovers because the quality is just on another level. Eleven Labs offers incredibly natural sounding AI voices that add that extra layer of professionalism to your videos. You can either generate a voice from scratch or clone your own voice, perfect if you want consistency across all your content. To use Eleven Labs with Kling, first you generate your voiceover in Eleven Labs, then download the audio file and upload it to Kling's lip sync feature. I've left a link in the description where you can try Eleven Labs for free and see the difference it makes. For our Black Widow example, I'll create a simple line. Timing's everything. We don't rush this. If we move too soon, they'll be ready. We wait for the right moment, then we strike. After selecting a female voice and generating the lip sync, check it out! The lip movements match perfectly with the speech, creating a realistic talking head video. This is perfect for product demos, explainers, or any content where you need a spokesperson but don't want to get in front of the camera. You think that's done? Nah, we still have some advanced settings to play with. For perfect AI compliance, the creativity slider requires adjustment based on your specific needs. If you want the AI to strictly follow your prompt without adding its own ideas, keep this slider toward the relevance end. And if you want the AI to have more creative freedom and potentially add interesting elements you didn't specify, move it toward the creativity end. For most professional uses, I recommend keeping it somewhere toward the relevant side to ensure predictable results, especially important when creating a series of videos that need to maintain consistency. To eliminate common flaws, negative prompts are crucial for avoiding common AI issues. In the negative prompt field, type things like blurry, distorted, unrealistic hands, warped faces, glitchy movement, pixelated, low quality, jerky camera, unnatural lighting, this tells the AI specifically what to avoid, resulting in cleaner, more professional videos. As a final consistency hack, when creating a series of videos featuring the same character, use the exact same reference image for each generation. Additionally, try to maintain similar lighting conditions and camera angles in your prompts to ensure visual consistency across your entire project. All right, folks, remember that special trick I promised at the beginning? This is it, the secret sauce to getting tons of free Kling credits that almost nobody is talking about. I'm not kidding, Kling will actually pay you in credits when you publish your work. Unbelievable, right? Every time you publish a short that passes their review, you'll earn a whopping 680 credits. That's enough for several professional quality videos. But here's the catch, and pay attention because this is important. Your shorts have to pass their review process. Cookie cutter content or just republishing the same video over and over, not gonna fly. Each submission needs to be unique and meet their quality standards. There's another way to rack up credits too. Publish your creations made with Kling AI and watch the rewards flow in. When other users recreate your published work, you earn additional free credits that can seriously add up. 
I've hit 254 recreations of my videos, and Kling has deposited a sweet 660 credits right into my account. It's so cool to wake up and see those numbers climbing while I sleep. One thing to keep in mind, these bonus credits do have expiration dates. The milestone bonus credits from Recreates are good for two years, plenty of time to use them. But the publishing bonus credits, those are only valid for a month, so don't sit on them. Think about it. Create great content, publish it, and let the credits roll in. It's like having your AI cake and eating it too. There you have it. Everything you need to maximize your Kling AI potential while preserving your precious credits. The techniques we've covered today will instantly elevate your content quality. You're officially a Kling AI wizard now. Want to try these amazing AI yourself? All links and resources are awaiting you in the description. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.